Anybody see Pachycetus in the magazines a number of years ago? Here they say, we now have proof that land animals such as cows or pigs evolved into whales. Wow. When you see great artwork like that, you have to ask the right question. And that right question is, what's the evidence? Well, you have to go to another book to see it, but there you see a skull and then you see a similar type of reconstruction. And what a lot of people don't realize is they didn't find the whole skull. All they found at the time the picture was drawn was a few teeth, a small patch of a jaw, and one bone at the back of the head. Now, is that enough evidence to get that great artwork? Of course not, right? Not at all. You know, they now have found more evidence they think belongs to Pachycetus. Do you know what their most recent view of Pachycetus is now? Here it is. That's it. Now, anybody smell a rat? <laughs> now, I've got a question for you. Which picture is right? And this is only over 20 years. Look how much their view changed. Maybe in 20 years, they're going to have a completely different idea, right? We don't know. Denver Museum has an exhibit of a dog-like creature changing into a whale. Great artwork. Ask what question? What's the evidence? Here it is. One small patch of a jaw, that's all they had. Now that's not enough evidence. Somebody's wearing evolutionary glasses, aren't they? When they see these kind of pictures, just like I used to. Well, man, you can imagine how a dog might turn into a whale, but imagination is not observation. Therefore, please, let's not call it science, okay? Now, can you even imagine what a cow turning into a whale would look like? Yeah, if they can draw a picture, so can we. As Dr. Gish would say from the Institute for Creation Research, that's an utter failure for evolution.